Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about blockouts. Blockouts are probably one of the most difficult things in 3D because you need to come up with some idea from nothingness, okay? And that's really kind of challenging and also somewhat uh, terrifying. And the less experience you have, the more difficult it's going to be. But at the same time, the less experienced you are, the more work you should put in, okay? It doesn't mean that you, if you get any experience, you can just, you know, take it easy and rest. We never do that. But what I'm trying to say is that when you have no experience at all, all you need to do is keep on practicing and never give up. The difference between the top 1% of artists and 99% of the rest of the world that tries to get there is that this 1% never gave up, okay? They don't even think about achieving certain level. They just never stop studying. They just crave for more and more and more and they keep evolving exponentially. They don't stop, okay? They're unstoppable. You need to train your brain to think that way. Okay, if you tread in a really deep snow and it's hard, well, find the deeper snow. And there's no easy way of putting this. So if you think that you're going to come to 3D space and you'll be able to create some cool stuff within a week, then you have another thing coming. Patience, guys. You got to be patient. Okay, it takes time. It's an art and, you know, you need to develop a skill on many levels. You need to understand the tools. You need to understand the composition. You need to understand, you know, balance detailing proportions all kinds of stuff at the same time don't think about it as an intimidating task because it isn't okay nothing is intimidating if you're going to break it down to smaller bits so i want to show you an easy approach to creating better blockouts instantly now before we get started let me tell you that on blenderbros.com we have a lot of free pdf files with useful information we have a hard surface handbook, we have a boolean handbook, we have a shading handbook and we have a book basically that will teach you all the basics regarding Blender tools. So if you are a beginner and you're still not sure you know what's what, then head on to our website, link in the video description and start studying. Blender basic tools can provide you with everything you need to create really interesting models. You don't need anything fancy. You just need to know how to access them and how to use them. And that's what these PDFs going to help you out with, okay? So let's take, for example, this scope, all right? If you look at this scope, which I created ages ago, I don't even know where it was, a year ago, okay? It's nothing super complicated, but for someone who starts in Blender, this just basically seems impossible. If I started Blender and saw this, I'll be like, damn, that's fucking awesome, okay? Now I'm thinking like, well, it's all right. The reason is that simply my skills went up and I'm constantly evolving and, you know, getting better and knowing more. But that's, you know, the name of the game. You just keep studying, you're getting better, you're evolving. That's normal. So let me show you how easy and basic is a block out for this model, okay? So first of all, what you need to do is turn off all the unnecessary details in your head. So I switched off all the de decals, okay? Then go from you know from the rendered view to a regular view and let's even turn off the shadows which is i don't know why they're here i'm gonna turn the cavity on okay and that's a very basic shape but you still can see there's a lot of details a lot of fluff so now in order to understand the basic shape of this scope you need to kind of look at the outline sort of a silhouette of this scope okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to add a cylinder right and I'm going to rotate it uh, by 90 degrees uh, and I'm going to place it somewhere here and I'm going to scale it a little bit and scale it on uh, on X axis. All right, cool. So that's one. So this is going to be the main, you know, the main body, okay, of this scope, right? I'm going to sharpen it here. Then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to move it in here and I'm going to scale it a little bit like this, okay? and create the front bit, right? That's the front bit. And there's one more bit here in the middle, right? So shift D X, you know, scale it down on X and move it in here and, you know, make it a little bit smaller and move it here, okay? Then we got the back bit, which is another cylinder. Okay, so look at this, I'm using the same element all over the place. It's just one element, all right? 
And here in the back, we're just going to inside it a little bit and extrude it like this. And, you know, we, we could cut it with a box cutter if you wanted to, right? So GX, move it a little bit here and then grab a, grab a box cutter and just simply slice it, okay? So, okay, so this is the outline. Then, let me talk to you about this middle part. Guys, the middle part is a joke, okay? Um, you just grab a cube, you just make it bigger on the axis, you make it, you know, wider like this, you put it somewhere here in the middle. Let's make it a bit narrow because it's a bit too thick. So, just get it on the Y axis, right? And now what we need to do is just simply cut it, okay? So, on the bottom, you can see that we got basically chamfers, right? So I'm gonna grab these, I'm gonna chamfer them, and it's a little bit flatter, so I'm gonna simply grab that and S, uh, S, Y, and flat it out, G, Z, and move it up a bit, sort it, okay? And the top um, is just a cut, okay? So I can do it with loops. I can put a loop in here, put a loop in here, all right? Select them both, Control B to split them, okay? I grab this top here, GZ, and drop it down, right? And then GZ and drop it down, right? And all you need to do now is simply bevel this, okay? So we're going to uh, bevel, you know, bevel this edge here first, right? So bevel this, and we're gonna, you know, copy to the other side, select all these. And bevel them and this is your scope okay and the rest is just detail look how much time it took me to create this okay it's just one cylinder and one cube so what I want you to understand this is an exercise of creating some basic shape without adding any details because when you start adding details to something that's very basic you will get confused and you're gonna get distracted. Keep it as basic as possible. Look how artists, for example, paint us how they paint. It's a basic shape and basic outline and you can really very easily, very quickly get it done. So now then you may ask, okay, but how did you come up with this shape? Well, look at the real life scope, okay? Grab a scope and just simply make it different. That's all it takes. So what you need to do is look at the real life reference of a scope or some kind of a scope, you know, design on art station or whatever. Make sure you're looking at good art. So look at the good artists. Take an idea and make it your own. So don't copy what they've done, right? Because they will teach you bugger all. But try to copy the basic flow, the basic concept and make it your own, right? You could look at nature, right? You could look at nature. And when I was designing this drone, I was not really looking at any references, but I kind of imagined uh, a fish mixed with a bit of a mantis. Because if you look from the front, it does look a little bit like a mantis, right? Praying mantis. But if you look at this model, especially if you look at it in rendered view, you will think like, you know, it's just too complicated. And it's really not. It's a really simple model, guys. If someone is a complete beginner, they will think that this is just too much, okay? Which it isn't, especially when I'm going to turn the decals on, you know, they'll think like, you know, God damn, how do you come up with this complicated shape? Guys, it's piss easy, okay? Let me show you how easy it is to uh, create a block out of this uh, drone. By the way, this model was m created for a sci-fi drone design for Blender. It's a course by Blender Bros. And uh, we went for this kind of like an organic shape. And you can still get the pre-order if you're interested at 25% off. So the deal is quite amazing. And it teaches you how to use all the most basic Blender tools to create this kind of a cool shape. We're not using any paid add-ons at all. The only exception is that there's a bonus video that teaches you how to use trim sheets and decals with decal machine. But it's a bonus video, so we don't use any paid add-ons to model this thing, okay? So now I want to show you how easy is this block out. It's literally can be done in seconds, okay? I'm going to grab a cube and I'm going to, you know, put it somewhere here. So let's grab a cube, right? And... So let's grab a cube, shift A and let's grab a cube, okay? And let's move it in here, right? And then I'm going to 
grab this cube here and move it down, rotate it and scale it, right? And I'm gonna grab this one, right? And I'm going to extrude it and I'm gonna move it down here and scale it, and extrude it a little bit more, move up and scale it and this a little bit too high. And that's the basic shape of this drone. I'm not even kidding, guys. Okay, that's how it was designed. So I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna, you know, bevel them, right? So bevel them like this, right? And I'm gonna grab uh, this top one and I'm going to scale it a little bit out, okay? And I'm going to grab the bottom one and scale it in, right? A little bit, right? Then I'm gonna grab this one and, you know, bevel it. Copy to the other side, and I'm gonna chamfer this bit here. And it's literally my shape, okay? Then, all I need to do is grab this bit here, you know, insert it, and basically extrude it, and align it with, with the top here, okay? All right. And then I'm gonna grab uh, a cylinder, okay? And I'm gonna put it somewhere here. Let's just go to local view, okay? I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. I'm gonna scale it down, right? I'm gonna select these two parts, insert them and bridge them, and run some sharpen on this, okay? And then I'm gonna align this, right? And align somewhere here. So it kinda looks like a fin. And I'm going to mirror to the other side. And I'm going to duplicate this, right? Alt R to reset the rotation. R Y 90. Scale it down. Move it in here. Done. Oh, yes, I need to remove the mirror. Let me just move it to the middle one more time. So Shift S, move it to the middle. R Y 90 and move it in here. And boom, this is my... This is my shape of the drone done in what, 30 seconds? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I haven't added any details, okay? Then I'm thinking how I'm gonna connect this to the main, you know, chassis. How I'm going to connect these. What I'm gonna do on the top. Then you can start looking for references and ideas. If you get stuck with your design, look for ideas. Just try to be consistent in terms of uh, if your design but you can, you know, borrow from different um, artists or designs and it will inspire you to create something, you know, uh, something cool. Because when you look at your design, you kind of know what you want to what you want to do. Like, for example, I want to have a fin here. But what kind of fin do I want? Do I want a fin here or do I want a fin in here? You know, there's a lot of elements in here. There's a lot of elements in here. Fin probably here going to be better idea besides it will look a bit more like an orca or like kind of like a shark or something, okay? It's gonna look a bit more aggressive, you know? And uh, since the battle drone is a gun, you know, um, it just makes more sense. But, you know, all these details here, they, they are a result of me looking around the model and thinking, hmm, you know, how would I connect this one to this, okay? It's, it's a puzzle, but solve the puzzle locally. Don't think about the whole thing once you finish a block out. Think about the puzzle locally. Don't touch small details till you finish. Okay, this is like the, the last the last part. And when I'm modeling, I'm always looking around my model. Okay, I want my model to look good from any angle. And this is why when I'm designing something, I'm always looking around. I want to know if this drone can look really cool from and balanced from any angle, right? And it takes practice. But, you know, don't give up, just keep keep uh, modeling, keep trying, and you're gonna get better, because when you're practicing something, and you, so you're using good examples, and you, you know, you're executing proper techniques and all that, you will get better, because it's a natural progression of studying. Please be patient with your studies. I see a lot of people rushing in and trying to create something really way too complex for this, for their level of skill, and they get burned out. This is where most of the people fail because they're trying to attack something that's way too difficult for them and they get discouraged because they keep banging at the same wall, okay? So take it easy and create something at your level, uh, but something that's going to challenge you at the same time. Do you see what I mean? I didn't create a mech day one. I was creating basically solenoids based on Master Zeon's tutorial because that's how I learned the tools. 
you know, I remember when I was starting and, and I looked at Master Zeon's, uh, the helmets and the, the bots and that set and all that. I remember when I started, you know, 3D and I was learning from Master Zeon videos because I was using hard ups and box cutter day one. And I was thinking like, how the hell is he coming up with all these bot ideas? And then I look at his videos and he's just, you know, he was talking and just modeling and like effortlessly, right? And I was like, this is just, you know, magic, right? But then when you think how much time he's input into studying and into trial and error, you ask him because he will tell you it's going to be with thousands of hours, okay? So if you're going to persevere and you're going to be persistent and you're going to keep studying and you're never going to give up, you will get better because there's no other way. All right, guys, well, that's it for this one. Hope it helps you out. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.